Hello and welcome. My name is A.D. Cox and I am looking at some geometry. Have you ever thought about the fourth dimension? Well, there's one way that we can look at the fourth dimension. And that is starting from the second dimension and working our way up and trying to make sense of it that way. So, what could we do? First of all, in the second dimension, two dimension, we have squares. And what is the equivalent in the three dimension? Obviously, the cube. We have the cube here. Right, so, if we was going to cut a square up into two right angle triangles, like that, what would be the equivalent of doing that in three dimension? Well, the right angle triangle would be a right angled tetrahedron which we have here, there we go, which is just the corner of the cube. And two dimensionally we have two right triangles, but in three dimensions we would have four. One there, one there, one there, and one there. So, two-dimensionally, what do we have between two right triangles? We have a line, don't we? We have a straight line. And what do we have between the four right tetrahedron? We have a regular tetrahedron. So what we have in two dimension is a line, for three dimension we have a tetrahedron. So what would happen if we did this in the fourth dimension? Well, this is the family of 80 polytopes. This is the mass paper that I've written and looked at. Using binary to find out the vertices we find that the shape has eight vertices and it's all written up in the link below on Scribed. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Au revoir.